tasting like a boss. I have Minerva McGonagall here. How you doing, baby girl? How you doing? If you saw the thumbnail, you know it's a versus. That's right. Two dark chocolate flavored coffees. Uh, and for that, I thought I would get my black colored dog. Yes, you're my dark chocolate dog. All right, you can chill out here for a little bit if you want. Say hello, everybody. Say hello to everybody. All right. So what are the two flavors we got? Well, we have Army of Dark Chocolate by Bones and we have Dark Side Chocolate Trouble by Bones. We have a Star Wars flavor, relatively new. We have one that's been out for a while based upon the um, Army of Darkness or the Evil Dead franchise. I have always loved this cover. I have this shirt. Uh, when I first got it, it's before Bones had the wraparound bags. So you have the wraparound bags. So this is going to be a con comparison between the two. And I want to thank Lori Pearsall. Lori Pearsall is one of our viewers, and she asked, which one do I like more? Do I like this or this more? And I said, I don't know, because it's been a long time since I've reviewed this one. And I really was taken by this one. And, you know, at the same time, you always wonder, like, are they the same thing? packaged differently well these were bought just recently so they're both from the same you know same same facility uh and we're not dealing with an older you know one so uh i will tell you this uh, i guess they could always be the same coffee but when i went to brew them we're only gonna be doing in cold brew we're gonna be doing the army dark chocolate in the colored bones cold brew glass and we're going to be doing the dark side truffle in the bones normal glass here uh if you look at them now i'm not sure if you can really tell here or not but uh this one is actually darker meaning the army of dark chocolate is darker than this one here i will tell you that initially and by, and by the way just ever so slightly but when it was cold brewing because i was cold brewing at the same time uh when i introduced the water to the dark uh, army of dark chocolate it was dark immediately uh, and the dark side chocolate truffle was much lighter. Uh, still, you know, brownish, but not, not, not dark brown. And it darkened up over time. So guess they could still be the same thing, but I do not think so, just based upon the way they're brewed. So let's give them both a smell first. Army of Dark Chocolate. Has a nice dark roast scent. Got your chocolate notes as well. Hint, hint of that tobacco scent. Do you get some in dark? Do you get in some dark chocolate? Sorry, uh, dark roast uh, beans. Uh, another pro for this one is I got this at the grocery store, guys. I got it at the grocery store. Didn't have to pay for shipping or handling. Got it fresh, right up the road at Publix. Uh, there are the in caps usually where the Florida stuff is, but uh, so keep that in mind. Now this one here, obviously, I had to buy directly from Bones and have it shipped. And I imagine it's probably going to be a limited edition one, whereas this one has been around for a while. But let's give this one a smell. The scents are markedly different. Uh, I, I've always said that though this is technically a dark roast, I mean, the beans are dark, they are oily. There's almost like a slight coconut scent. There's none of the tobacco scent. So if you were to say which one's a darker roast, this one I would imagine is a darker roast because it just smells like it. More sweetness is involved. Uh, so let's get down to it. So what's gonna work? Sith Lord or Bruce Campbell? Let's figure it out. All right, which one should I do first, guys? Hmm, let's go with the Star Wars first. Let's go with Star Wars first. Because I think that it's probably going to be a lighter roast, even though they're both dark roasts. And going from a dark roast to a light roast can kind of be difficult, So for me at least. So let's get down to it. Tasting like a boss, the dark side. Chocolate truffle. Here we go. It, it's such a good cold brew, guys. It is, um, for those people who don't like dark roast, like I said before, I really do think this is like the step into the dark side for you. I really do. I mean, I know that sounds cheesy, 
uh, the first time I said it, I didn't plan it out, but now I've kind of built it into my my vernacular. Uh, and I think that this is the perfect uh, dark roast coffee. It still is almost like a really dark medium roast coffee. The chocolate notes are there. It's just a really, really good cup of cold brew. Um, yeah, but it has a little bit of coconut in it. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but that's at least what I'm picking out of it. So again, very good, but which do I like more? Let's move to the army of dark chocolate. Okay, tasting like a boss. For me, I like the Army of Dark Chocolate more. I just do. Um, the chocolate, by comparison, it is definitely a darker roast than the dark side of chocolate truffle. Uh, it's not the darkest roast, okay? So those people who just want a solid, harsh, dark roast, it's not. The dark chocolate on here is going to ameliorate some of that. Whereas the scents that come out, they're almost slightly tobacco-ish in this bag when compared to the other. You don't get that harshness here. It is a dark roast that is not overly earthy and really does a really good job with those dark chocolate notes. Even slightly more sweet than what you would consider to be the typical dark chocolate. So for me, this is really good. However, if you're wanting your dark roast to be just a little more milk chocolatey tasting, that's what I would have. I still think this is a lighter dark chocolate taste. This is more of a milk chocolate to dark chocolate taste. Both exceptionally good. But for me, my personal preference, if gun to head, it's going to be army of dark chocolate and that's before i've been taking consideration that i can just get it at the store whenever i want i think i picked this up for 12 bucks you know that's a little high for some coffee at the grocery store but this is really amazing coffee uh, whereas this i had to pay for a little bit of the shipping and everything else and it's a little bit more uh because it wasn't the grocery store but still really good so get them both guys um you give them a taste tell me what you think and i do think that you're gonna like the army of dark chocolate more I, I really do, but at the same time, you're really going to like the dark side chocolate truffle too. But if anyone wanted to know, are they the same flavor? They're clearly not the same flavor. They occupy enough unique places that I would not just throw this away and only get this. I could see adding these both to my cupboard on a full-time basis, assuming this is around for longer. So until next time, people, thanks for going on this taste journey with me and from the Chihuahuas and myself. Keep tasting like a boss. Thanks so much.